everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to the Jedi Knight episode... I actually can't remember. I mean, I did an episode last week, but I actually can't remember the number. We are making our way to the Balmoran Arms Factory, where we have Doc with us, even though he's not here, because... He's in the boot! He's in the boot at the mount, yeah. Um, and he can help us get into the Balmoran's farm, 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 arms factory. I just woke up like half an hour ago, so don't judge me. Yeah. Farm factory. Yeah. Farm, farm factory, not arm factory. Oh, is somebody dead? Oh, I thought you were dead, but you're just, you're just sniping on the floor. Although, are you? Yeah, you're just sniping on the floor. I thought you were actually, oh God. Well, I'm, I'm going to run. Okay. Guess I'm not running. Guess I'm fighting. That's the name of a film. That's a weird film. Just going back to that Stay Alive film. I, I, if I remember correctly, it's an old film that had like Frankie Muniz in it. And they play a game. And if they die in the game, something gets them in real life. And for some reason, it, it, it just got so complicated how, you know, some people would die in the game and then some of them wouldn't die in real life. Yet some of them would die in the game and some of them would die in real life. It, it was like, what? What is going on? And yeah, it was it was a weird film, and uh, I suggest you know I recommend you watch it because you know it's it's got Frankie Muniz in it, but um, you know the guy from Malcolm in the Middle, yeah, yeah, that guy, that guy. <laughs> I hate being so tired. Went to bed at like midnight, woke up at half nine, and I'm still bloody tired. Why does life hate me? How am I doing on the old, um, Dark vs. Light? I'm still on any Dark 1. I would have thought I'd be on Dark 2 by now. Okay, then. I mean, I don't need to be in... I don't really... My Dark... My Dark side of here really doesn't matter. Because it's not like it's it's for anything. I can't exactly use it on the Light Side, Dark Side event. Dark Side, Light Side... I always get that the wrong way around. Um, I love how I hit the jump button at the same time. Um, yeah, I can't use it on the Dark vs. Light event because... Well, this character wasn't made for the Dark Wizard Live event, so it won't count. Oh well. Ooh, can I can I jump up this way? Ah! I avoided you. Mwahaha. <laughs> and you die. Ooh, this is very reminiscent of um that scene in episode two. Star Wars the 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 Attack of the Clones? Is that what it, what it is? Yeah, Attack of the Clones. It's very reminiscent. It's like I wonder if there's lava in there. Well there's red, so it's boiling hot so it's probably that sort of molten lava in there whatever whatever it actually is it might be molten steel but I'm gonna pretend it's lava Here we go go up an elevator oh okay um uh, oh 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 um what 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 the heck happened here? I, I walked through, it pinged, it went black, and it was all like, oh, n n never mind. Uh, okay, that was weird. The turbo lift's locked down, but don't worry. Slicing Imperial security codes is a hobby of mine. Give me two secs. One, two. Oh, these are some long two Someone's seconds. coming down the turbo lift. Get behind me, beautiful. I'll protect you. Uh, excuse me. Hi. Doc, I thought the imps had killed you. You too, Remy? How you making out, old fella? Same as always. Pretend to cooperate with the Imperials and stab them in the back every chance I get. The Empire's about to lose Balmora. Start stabbing. Don't have to tell me twice. We're in a bind, pal. You know any way into the secure labs? Sure. The imps put me on waste management. Gave me a data card to get in there. It's all yours. Oh, thank you. Thing is, there's guards every two meters in there. That's why I travel with the Jedi, Remy. That's why I travel with you, Doc. Aren't you afraid the Imperials will blame you for this? I have no plans to find out. Not after you opened me a nice, sweet path to freedom. Good luck. Well, I sort of did. There's a few enemies which I didn't kill who are probably going to murder you on your way, but... It's Colonel Finley. We have a new problem. Of course. Resistance has learned of Imperial research into weapons that use cloaking device technology. 
If the enemy can hide their missiles and bombs from detection, imagine the carnage. Have they successfully tested such a weapon, or is it just speculation? What difference does it make? We still need to look into it. You must recover all the Empire's research data on this project and deliver it to us. There's bound to be a computer hub up there somewhere. This may be our only opportunity. Do everything you can. Finley out. Let's go, Doc. I should say it the British way. Doc. Let's go, Doc. It doesn't sound very impactful. If I say it the American way, let's go, Doc! It sounds far more impactful. Let's go, Doc! Nah, nah, nah. That's a bonus mission to destroy these crates, but I don't know if I can be bothered. To be honest, I made. Why are you glowing? Oh, okay. Fine. Oh, I'm burping. Lovely. Oh, thing I need is over here. Um. What? Do, what? What do I need? Obtain the. It's right here, apparently. Oh, it's da oh, it's down there. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Well, I'm gonna blow you up. Ha ha. You're choking. Choke to death. Okay, Doc, let's go. Hey, ho, oh, let's go. I found the files about the Empire's stealth weapon research, but something's wrong. They're starting to erase themselves. I use Turbo Lift data cards all the time when I was here. They work with computers, too. Maybe we can transfer the files onto the data card Remy gave us. Copy them before they get deleted. Work like a charm. Pretty amazing, huh, gorgeous? Wow, that's some quick copying skills. For me, if I were to copy something from a folder to the desktop, it would take, like, a year. How did I ever get by without you? Best not to think about it. Those bad old days are over. <laughs> huh. You suppose the Empire knows we're here? I think so. Hey, gorgeous. Defeat Lord Razik and his guards. Where is he? Is he upstairs? Can we go through here? Oh, there's another path upstairs. Should we go this side anyway. Oh, hello. Hi. Didn't see you guys. You know, with the enemies that I've killed in this phase, I probably could do the destroy the caches, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be bothered. I'm just, I'm just here to try and make an episode for today, and then I'm probably going to go straight back to sleep. Pretty much. Right, let's use heroic moment, shall we? Flame throw you. Hopefully the heroic moment will kill the Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, hopefully the heroic moment will kill those two. And it has! Ha 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 ha. Okay, and that's you dead. That was easy. I killed a Sith. I I want the want the loot, please, thank you. I killed a Sith! Um we going this way now? I guess we are. Um, ooh, there's a ship for us to escape on! Hopefully. Something tells me we're, that's not what, something we're going to escape on. Oh well. That's far enough. We're almost done here. Nicolin, what are you doing? The cloaking device prototype belongs to the people of Balmora, not the Republic. This is our world, our war, and our victory. The Empire was on the verge of wiping out the Resistance before we got here. We spent decades fighting for this planet after the Republic rolled over for the Empire. Now you're back to loot our resources? This prototype may be the most valuable technology on Balmora. You're not taking it. Aren't the Jedi all about justice? If that's true, let us leave with what's rightfully ours. Mm. Don't want to kill him for Doc's sake. The Jedi will return this technology once we're done with it. Please hand it over. The Jedi will return this once they're done with it. Hand it over, Avers. I'd offer you transportation, but I'm afraid the shuttle only seats two. Good luck. What? A massive shuttle like that only seats two? Are you bloody kidding me? Now that's smooth talking. One thing's for sure. I'm not working for the Resistance anymore. Got a spare bunk on your ship for a superb combat medic? I thought you'd never ask, Doc. You don't need the a bunk bed. waits for just the right moment. Warren, I have the cloaking device prototype. After the blood that's been spilled today, that's a ray of hope. I'm returning to the Republic base where you first landed. Meet me there. Yeah, Doc. 
Yet I need a bunk bed. You can stay in my double bed. I mean, I mean, um, um, you you can stay in the double bed that I have laid out for you that I totally won't sleep in. T -t 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 totally, totally. And I believe we are done on Balmora. I have the cloaking device prototype and the Empire's weapon research data. We've denied the enemy a considerable technological edge and broken its hold on Balmora. You're old. I'll send the research data to Coruscant. There's a Dr. Godera waiting to review it. Friend of yours, I understand. Doctor Who? The name doesn't ring a bell. Perhaps friend was too strong a word. Either way, you have our thanks. Farewell. Somehow I expected such an important device to be more impressive. I'll deliver this to Master Braga and the Council on Tython. Master Braga's faith in you is well placed. I'm honored to serve with you. We can't rest until we bring down the Empire once and for all. It's good to stop and savor the victories along the way. Don't forget that. You should contact Master Braga when you return to your ship. He's eager to hear from you. Is in now. Farewell. I, I see, Kishila really just feels like Anakin Skywalker at this moment in time, doesn't she? It's she's just all like, "We need to take down the Empire!" Ha 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 ha! We need to take him down. And then, like Anakin, Anakin was Using all like, "Saber is just as much science as art." You lied to me. There's no abilities here. Anakin he was all like, "We need to take down the Empire," and then he became the Empire. I mean, the same can't be said for Kishila, but she can become pretty damn close. Okay, Braga. What have you got for me next? Master Braga, the mission to Balmora was a success. We have the cloaking device prototype. Outstanding. I never doubted you for a moment. How did you find working with my old friend Warren? I've always been impressed by his keen insights. His intuition was critical. I couldn't have found the objective without him. You've brought us a great leap closer to finding the Emperor. But there's a new problem. I've lost contact with my Padawan under unusual and dangerous circumstances. You're uniquely qualified to deal with this. Capturing the Emperor is more important than anything. My student was the inspiration for that mission. Sejar is no ordinary Padawan. He was once a Sith Lord, a member of the Empire's Dark Council. We dueled on Dantooine. Fought for three days. I won when I convinced him to abandon the dark side and train as a Jedi. He must have taken a lot of persuading. Our debate was a duel in itself. I appealed to the good in him no matter how he attacked me. Sajar has fully embraced the Jedi way. Whatever has happened, it isn't his fault. He was guarding a Republic base on the planet Quish when the Empire invaded and attacked our territories. You trusted Sejar to guard a Republic base in a war zone? When I sent him, Quesh was peaceful, quiet, a good place for meditation while also serving the Republic. And also a choking planet. I just planet. spoke with a soldier at Sejar's base. It's surrounded by Imperial forces and my Padawan refuses to act. Without Jedi help, that base will fall. My Padawan won't answer his holo. Sounds like he's afraid of something, but what? Only a strong Jedi can help Sage Island save the base. I'm transmitting the planet's coordinates now. Master Braga, out. Hello? Oh, he needs you. And you need him. Can I look forward to you dropping by like this for the rest of my life? Uh, you all right? The hollow transmission's over. It's a Jedi thing. None of your business. Wow. This sounds urgent. Be harsh. We should go to Quesh right away. Let me harsh to my boyfriend, Kira. That sounds weird to say, but it's true. Uh, well, he's not my boyfriend yet. He will be. What should I go for? Uh, these uh, crystals. It shall be the crystals. We'll do Quesh next time because that'll probably last like five minutes and then we can start like the next we can start the next planet. Um does anyone need to speak to me? because uh, I may I may actually do their um their 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 their, their, their um companion stories, that's the word I was looking for. So let's talk to Kira. 
So, ground so. rules? Master Kuix let me do whatever, long as I wasn't in her way. Are you planning to carry on like this for the whole trip? Might also sing. That a problem? Question two, what's my job on the ship? Hate standing around, makes me antsy. That's a big ship. There's plenty of work. Do what comes naturally. Reprogram the computer to call me master? Done. We'd better get moving. Let's go save the galaxy. Let's get one thing straight, Kira. If anyone's gonna save the galaxy, it's me. Not we. Me! Ever wonder who you'd be if the Jedi hadn't taken you in? Some days I don't feel like a Jedi at all. Been there, still going. Every day. I should be dead or worse a thousand times over. The first months after I escaped Korriban? <laughs> Exciting. Not easy staying alive when you're a ten-year-old Sith fugitive. No friends, no food, no home. Leaving Korriban sounds hard enough. How'd you manage that? Helps if you're small. A head for Imperial transport schedules doesn't hurt. One day, a big freighter dropped off slaves and left with a stowaway. Jump ship on Nar Shadda. Spent eight years sleeping in alleys. Good times. Finally got caught stealing a starship hyperdrive. <laughs> Should have seen Master Kuwait's face. Being trained as a Jedi was your punishment? How was that fair? Felt pretty harsh to me, too. Still remember when Master Kuwix realized I was Force-sensitive and asked me to be her Padawan. It was... weird. Nobody ever gave me a choice before. Still getting used to that. You should be comfortable with it by now. When did Master Kuwix recruit you? Couple of years ago. What can I say? Point is... Oh. Oops. Oops. I pressed spacebar, um, accidentally. You know how you just have your finger resting on spacebar? And you're just sort of like, uh, well, that kind of happened. Um, but if you're able to read the subtitles very quickly, if you're able to pause and read the subtitles, there you go. Um, where is Doc anyway? Master, Doc. You'll be pleased to know I added extra padding to all the seat cushions aboard this vessel. I hope you find them comfortable. <laughs> Doc, where are you, Doc? He should be around here somewhere. But I don't see him. He's. Downstairs. Ah, Doc, you in here? Hello. Looks like old Doc got here just in time. How have you survived with a droid and Little Miss Uptight as your only friends? I thought I was about to die of boredom. Not while I'm around. Anything happens, I'll be there to uh, resuscitate you. Oh. Before I settle in, a few things. First, I like my quarters kept at least five degrees warmer than the rest of the ship. Well, your quarters. I only eat energy pudding, so stock up on that. Uh, also, give me 30 minutes in the refresher every morning. That's all. I'll at least accommodate your standard of living on Balmora. Bar's pretty high. Had it awfully good there. Never seen a ship's med bay right next to the engine compartment before. Not exactly convenient. I've done better with worse. Until I have everything online, stay in one piece. Doctor's orders. Just what the doctor ordered. We will talk to you and Kira next time. I think this is a long enough episode, sort of. I don't even know how long it is. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Next time we'll be going to Quesh. And I shall see you next time. Any farewell. Block you up, C2N2. To you.